with my weekly what sold video. If you are new here, thank you for coming to my channel. I'm gonna let you know what I sold this week on Depop, Mercari, Poshmark, and eBay, and then I will give you my total profit at the end of the video, so make sure you stick around to see how much I made, and hopefully this can help you with your reselling business. So sales were okay. I feel like I had a similar sales price as to last week. I'm just now starting to track my numbers really, really like diligently, and so I need to keep track and start comparing what I'm making week to week, but pretty good sales week. I had some slower days, but then I had some really nice high dollar sales to mix in, which made it for a good week. So let's just get right into it. If you haven't yet subscribed, please consider doing so um, down below. You can hit the bell next to it. You can get notifications every time I put out a new video. Um, I still haven't figured out how to keep myself in the video the whole time. I am just using QuickTime Player to put myself up here. <laughs> Um, so I need to figure that out. I actually sold a pair of Adidas Sambas last night, some kids ones for a great amount. Um, but they said they had the wrong address. And so I had to cancel the order because there's no way for them to go in and edit it. And I am shipping through Depop, so I cannot edit the address. So that's kind of sad. Um, but Hopefully they come back and buy it. Um, I sold this Burberry coat for $125. It was my full asking price. I found this at a local thrift world. I paid $15 for it. I was a little bit unsure of the authenticity because it only had this one tag of the inside uh, right here. Um, and there was no other tag, but other people, resellers had told me that um, this is a vintage tag. They have sold a really similar one. It might not have had the brand tag um, if there was a liner that wasn't in there, which that could have been. Um, so anyway, it still sold super fast. $125 from 15. I'm so happy with that. And yay, that was great. Um, next up was the brand Corset Story. This sold for $35. Um, this was a new with tags, women's kind of like goth-ish type brand. So it had the steel bones there to keep the shape. It, it does retail for quite a bit. Um, but here's what it looked like. Um, but resale price, as far as comps, $35, $40, even new with tags. So I went ahead and listed mine of 40 and accepted an offer of 35. Next up, I sold this icebreaker, uh, merino wool jacket. This is a good hiking outdoor brand in a size medium. This sold for $30. Um, this was a striped 260, uh, merino wool top. Here's what the tag looks like. So certain things can do better from the brand. That was a pretty decent sale on that. And I do think it had a little hole possibly. Um, next up are a pair of Dansko shoes that sold for $25.20. These were a pair of size 10, um, really chunky, slip-on clogs. Um, I usually use the word comfort in my title and my keywords because Dansko is definitely known for having comfort shoes. Uh, next up, I sold this Express dress. This was a vintage Express dress probably from the 2000s or 90s, sold for $29. Um, button front, midi, made in Hong Kong. Um, it did have a little spot there and it did have pockets. So really cute style. Um, so I was glad to sell that. And then I don't remember if I talked about these ones on the fourth. Did I? I don't know. Let's talk about them just in case. Uh, Universal Works sweater. Men's, I did decide to sell this. I give most of my men's stuff to my brother, but every once in a while I'm like, I'm just gonna try to sell this. So this is a size medium brown. It was a wool cashmere blend. It was made in Japan. So really excellent. Actually it was made in Portugal, but it was Japan. Somewhere it said Japan, you guys, I swear. Uh, what? I felt, I seriously felt like, okay, I don't know. <laughs> what's going on, but either way, it sold for $60 really fast. And then I sold these pair of Beyond Yoga leggings. Um, they were in a size medium and they were sold for $18. Red, high rise, full length leggings, nothing special. Um, just like a good little bread and butter sale. Um, next up on Mercari. Oh, what is this? It says, know your costs. As part of a beta rollout, you're seeing prices that include costs and fees, shipping and tax. Oh, Probably when you're buying stuff. They're probably putting that out to buyers. Okay, um, let me see here. I only had a few sales per usual on Mercari. Um, and I actually sold these Carhartt bibs, but I had a pair of 2T and a pair of 24 months. One of them had snaps like in the legs and one of them didn't. And I didn't know that 
And so I just used the same picture for both and I just put what sizes I had, but then this person wanted the snaps and the pair I sent them didn't have the snaps. So they're returning them anyway. So that's slightly sad actually. Oh, and then I only had a pair of Stuart Weitzman shoes. Um, these are a pair of Stuart Weitzman heels that sold for $35. Women's size seven brown suede. They were called the Commodore booty. They were studded. Um, Stuart Weitzman is very, very expensive, but it does not retail or resale anywhere near retail. So I honestly pass on it a lot. And that's it for Mercari. Believe it or not, let's go to my Poshmark sales. Um, first up, I have this Land's End puffer vest. This is in a women's size extra large. It was a down puffer vest, but it only sold for $16. So it had went through a couple of markdown sales, obviously, to be down for this. I have passed on the Lands and Puffer Vests recently at the thrift store. Next up is a New With Tags Anthropology Pilcro sweatshirt. I already sold this in a different color. Um, this one is in a size medium, and it was a black um, tulle hoodie. So it had this tulle detail on the bottom. Uh, $35, even though, actually, I don't know what the retail was. Um, I talked about this item, I think in an upcoming video, I am trying a different style of video for next week on Tuesday. So make sure you guys come back and check that out and please, um, let me know your thoughts. I don't know how it's going to go. So we'll see. Um, next up a pair of Rothy's. These are from a viewer or an Instagram follower. She messaged me to ask me, actually, I think both, um, if I had these, she didn't have Venmo or PayPal. So I was fine with doing a sale on the platform. If I can do it off the platform, obviously I would prefer that because it doesn't take out fees, but Poshmark is taking out less fees these days. So that's great. Um, Rothy size nine. These are the anchor textile gray slip on shoes. Comps for these were right around 35 to $40. So I priced mine accordingly and she got them for $37. So thank you so much for your purchase and supporting my small business. You are helping me pay for my upcoming Disney trip. <laughs> we just bought plane tickets this week. So really excited about that. Next up was a men's Carhartt coat. This sold for $55. This was in a size extra large tall. Um, brown canvas J141 uh, work coat, outdoor coat. The Carhartt coats can be really distressed and beat up and people like them that way. So um, this one actually sat for a while though. Usually I sell them quicker than this. So that was kind of surprising, but that's okay. It was a great price. Next up was this Aaron Craft sweater. This one, however, sold really fast in less than 24 hours. This was a size large green hooded merino wool cardigan, full zip. I listed it $50. Someone purchased it for a full asking price of $50. So I was really happy about that. So that's kind of what I'm talking about with lower number sales, but still higher dollar sales. Um, not with this though. These are a pair of Athleta jeans in a size six. These were the Sculpt Tech high rise stretch skinny jeans. They sold for $10. Do not pick these up, at least in the smaller sizes. The larger sizes do tend to do better, but they still don't do that great for me as of lately. Sorry. Um, next up is a new with tags loft sweater. And this sold for $10 as well. So pretty pathetic. I was like, this is so cute. Somebody's going to want this. No, no, they don't because loft does not resell good. Um, pom pom colorful pullover sweater retailed for $80 acrylic nylon polyester. So I was glad to see that go because it was just wasting space. I did end up taking a bag of stuff to close mentor this week. They probably took about half my items and gave me 80 bucks. So that was fine because it was just old items that was, it was stuff like this that's like listed really low. So at this point I'm like, if it's not selling, I need to get something for it or get it out of my closet and make room for better stuff. Um, so I only got through about eight to 10 bins. So I need to keep going. Um, next up are these pair of Levi's size 29 high-waisted straight baggy jeans. Um, $21 on these. I don't know. I could hardly sell any Levi's for that good anymore. So if you guys are selling Levi's for like $35 plus, let me know what styles you're selling and how they're doing for you. Next up are these Brunello Cuccinelli pants. This is definitely a Bolo brand. Be on the lookout. Size 4 cream silk blend pants um they did have a little bit of like this line from the hem and like some wear um but that could be ironed out easily so brunello cuccinelli 40 dollars on those i possibly could have sold them for more but i have had them for probably six to nine months at this point next up are these women's viore pants that sold for 65 dollars viore's been selling 
so good for me lately. These were the performance joggers. I love selling them. Um, I can look for the drawstrings because they have that certain pattern like that. And I can kind of tell what they are. Although there are some companies that are making like dupes of them, obviously, because it's really trendy. So watch out for that. Um, next up is a pair of Rock Revival jeans that sold for $25. These were in a size 27. They were the Carla skinny jeans. Um, boot cut tends to sell better for me in Rock Revival. So I need to kind of be careful with what styles I'm picking up. Next up was a packed bodysuit that sold for $15. Um, this was a blue organic cotton long sleeve bodysuit. Pack doesn't retail for that much, so I'm not surprised that it didn't really sell for that high of a price. I sold these free people shoes really quickly for my full asking price of $40. These were in a size seven. These are the Mont Blanc um, shoes, like a Dior say, open, very boho style. Um, lots of companies make that same style, but when you can find the free people ones, they usually do pretty good. Next up is this bundle for $165. So, so good with this. This was a packed sweatshirt in a size extra small, those black Adidas women's Samba shoes, and then a pair of P448, um, white Sherpa shoes. So the shoes were really, really good in this bundle and the packed was just an added bonus. So I get $151 off of that. Um, and the bundle was 165. So I'm definitely earning more money than I did before on those higher dollar sales. So that is really exciting um, that they only literally took out like 10 bucks. Um, next up is a Garnet Hill jacket that sold for $12. This was a velvet open um, kind of like embroidered jacket, but I've had this for a really long time and it just wasn't doing good. So it went ahead and off to a new home for $12. I sold this Tanya Taylor skirt, but apparently the zipper's broken and I didn't notice that. So that's depressing. That's getting returned. I have a Peruvian Connection shirt that I sold for $20. My thrift worlds around here still are having some random Peruvian Connection items coming in. So I don't know where they're getting them all. Some of them mark them up, some of them don't. Um, this was just a plain white long sleeve t-shirt in a size large. It sold for $20. It wasn't anything special. I probably didn't need to get it, but I went nuts one day and I put almost every Peruvian connection item in my cart that I could find. And I had a huge cart full. Next up was a Vince top that sold for $55. This was new with tags in a size medium. If you remember, I got this recently at a thrift store and the person only charged me like a couple bucks. Um, retail for $325, which is crazy. Uh, $55 sale for me, and that is really good for how much I paid. I sold the soft surrounding sweatshirt for $12. This was in a size 1X. So before I used to say that the plus size does better, now the plus size still isn't even doing that good. It has to be like really special. So like a prairie dress, a maxi dress with lots of embroidery or beading. That's the kind of stuff that's selling for me from soft surroundings. Everything else is just sitting and it's going through multiple markdowns. So it's not really worth it anymore. Um, next up is a Banana Republic blazer in a size eight. This was a navy blue wool blend, um, kind of like office career blazer. So $30 on that, that's pretty good. Banana Republic factory. Uh, next up, I sold these American Eagle jeans for $24. These were a size 20. They were the low rise skater and they were new with tags. Um, I wish I could get more for these, but I only seem to get around 25 bucks for new with tags, American Eagle, even really, really good trendy styles. So that's okay. Um, obviously I want to be getting more than that though. Um, next up are these men's keen boots and never mind. I already talked about those because they were from the third. So let's go on to eBay. Um, eBay, I sold these Dansko shoes. I just got these recently. They were a really cute style. They were called the Kira shoes. They were a slip on round toe, um, very classic color for fall, $35 on those. Next up is a Ming Wang cardigan that sold for $18. This is something else that I need to be stop. I need to stop picking up the smaller sizes. Um, I had some luck every once in a while with the smaller sizes, but for the most part, anything under a large is not doing that great. So yeah, that's $18 on that. I sold these Gerbaud, Gerbo, how do you say that? Jeans for $35. This is a vintage like 90s Y2K brand. Here's what the back tag looks like. In a size 11, 12, green. So I'm happy with that. Next up is a new with tags, men's LL Bean sweatshirt. Um, again, just a random men's item that I decided I was going to sell. 
I don't know how I decide which stuff I'm going to give to my brother and which stuff I'm going to sell. For the most part, I give him everything. I feel like it also depends like on the day. If I didn't find very much and I'm like, I need stuff to list, like I'll just list it. So anyway, this sold for my full asking price of $50. They did use a 10% coupon. I'm using a 10% coupon now. Um, I definitely was getting more sales when I was using a 20% off coupon, but I feel like I'm making slightly more money. So I don't know. I'm going to keep experimenting with my promoted um, amount and my 10%. Next up was the brand Caroline Rose, another $50 sale. Um, this was in a size 2X and it was a red wool jacket. This sold within one day. So I would say that's a Bolo brand. Um, next up is Viore, another Bolo brand. This was the jacket that was with those pants. It was the Performance 2.0 size small teal jacket. I did decide to list them separately. And so that sold for $65 with a coupon. Um, next up was a Carlisle jacket. I picked this up because someone said it can do good in the bigger sizes and it was color block. Although it did have a small stain. I had it for a little while. I just decided to accept an offer of $20 just to move it. Next up was a pair of, another pair of Danskos. These were called the Roxanne and they were the Mary Jane style, which is doing so good right now. Um, so leather comfort in a size six. That was a great sale at $40. Next up, I sold this new with tags TLA top for $15. Um, this originally retailed for $58. Striped pullover, nothing special. Um, next was a vintage BB or Bebe. I don't know how you say this. Um, sold for $35 with a 10% off coupon. It was a mohair knit. Um, and it kind of had this like metallic rainbowy color. So uh, very Y2K. Um, next up was this Talbot's jacket that sold for $35. If this looks familiar, it's because I sold it before and I couldn't find it. And then guess what? When I started looking through my bins and actually cleaning up my workspace, I found it. So I relisted it for the buyer, messaged her. She came back and bought it again for $35. This is very fall. It was a wool blend, kind of like a shacket. Um, next was an IC by Connie K jacket for $40. This was a black and white with red detail. Here's what the tag looks like. Very artsy. Um, this does better in the larger sizes. So as you see here, a lot of these sales are higher price. So even though I'm not having as many, the prices are good. And it's like my old stuff, this stuff's selling fast and my old stuff's not. <laughs> so I think I'm doing a better job getting better items. Okay. Next up vintage Adler jacket. This was a red leather fringe, very cool Western style jacket It sold for $43. I sold these Dansko boots for $65. So lots of Dansko this week. Um, size 39. These were called the Bentley boots. Um, they were ruched. This is the style number right here. You can find what they're called. Look that up and look at the style because every Dansko sells differently. These ones were great. Oh, offer expired. Sad. Okay. Another great sale. Dan Post boots, $60. These are a pair of men's size 11 leather western cowboy boots i got these recently at this small random thrift store for ten dollars that i almost didn't go into because usually they don't have good stuff but i guess it's good to pop in every once in a while um, i sold these levi's jeans for 35 okay here's a pair i sold for 35. these were called the midi ankle boot cut i've never seen this style before um, so i decided to try them out and they did sell for 35 with a 10 percent off coupon so i guess that's pretty good um, next up is this North Face men's coat sold for $75 with a 10% coupon. This was a red and gray apex elevations ski coat. I bid, did pay $25 for this, um, but I figured I would still be able to make a pretty good profit. And I did. Um, next up is a pair of Viore men's pants in a size small. These sold for $53. These were the Ponto performance jogger. And they sold really fast. I sold this Steo top for $18. You remember me getting this probably recently and I said I shouldn't have paid that much for it. Actually probably shouldn't have even picked it up, but it did sell really fast. It was new with tags with a jackrabbit in the front. Steo can be a good outdoor brand. This just wasn't that substantial of a piece. Um, and then I sold these Eileen Fisher women's size medium white linen high rise pants. Um, is there anything else to say about those? I don't think so. $30 on those. Next up was a pair of L or a dress by LK Bennett. Um, this was a Sam sheath dress, midi length blue. Um, this brand can do pretty good, but sometimes it sits. I've had a pair of shoes that you that had been sitting forever. 
So I guess look for the style on that. Um, next up is a pair of Lululemon on the fly crop pants. It's over $22.75. These had been marked down and they kind of had some wear on them. So they sold for a little bit lower. I sold this Anthropology puff sleeve. Did I talk about this stuff? I don't think so because the last video was on April, I mean, October 4th, if I can speak. And I can see right here what time the sales were made. Okay. Anthropology sweatshirt, size extra large. This sold really fast for $33. It was green. It had a puff sleeve and it had floral embroidery. It was so cute. It was getting attention on all kinds of platforms. Next up was this free people sweater that sold for $69. Um, so that was so good. Love Sparks crochet sweater. I paid $15 for this, but I had a feeling it was going to be good. And I looked up comps and they were excellent. So that was a really, really good sale. Um, I sold this Talbot's vest for $22. This was canceled because I didn't have it. So let's forget about that. Um, Clara Sun Wu top, pink ombre, extra large, um, dolman sleeve. That brand can do pretty good. $35 with a coupon. And then that's it. Cause that said it was a 420 AM sale. So altogether this week I did make $1,299 of profit. Now I did take out my cost of goods and fees and everything. I didn't add into account like maybe office expenses or things like that, but that's so low that I don't really include that. So around $1,300 profit in one week is pretty great. Uh, I would say for reselling stuff that people give away and they don't want anymore. So that's it for the video, you guys. Thank you so much for watching. Let me know how your sales have been down below. Hope you guys have an amazing weekend and I'll see you on Tuesday for my next video. Bye.